Hello my fellow Chef Nice enthusiasts. Today I'm not going to show you a knife, I'm going to show you some sayas. Sayas are those wooden sheets that go over knives to protect your blades. I also have these leather sheets that I really love and like. Just like the wooden sayas, they do a fantastic job of protecting your blade. But compared to a wooden saya, these use a lot less space in your knife roll. So you can fit more nice into your knife roll. And then of course you have these regular blade guards. But they definitely don't look as good as wooden sayas. Some knives come with a saya which is specifically made for that blade. Most knives come without a saya. These universal wooden sayas don't always fit. So it's always kind of a gamble. But if they fit, they definitely protect your knife properly. For these three sayas, I was willing to take a risk because I really liked the designs of them and with design I mean the artwork which was placed on the wooden sayas. These dope sayas were made by Joseph Francis, the owner of Mojo Studio. He loves to design chef knife covers and they are clearly created with chef and cooks in mind. Hence this really cool Anthony Bourdain saya. Joseph actually started quite recently selling these sayas online. His mojostudio.net website went online on the 1st of May and fun fact I was the first person that ordered a saya from him. I used to be an art school myself. I graduated as a product designer, did a master's in design as well. So I kind of know what it takes to turn your creative ideas into tangible products or designs. So I always appreciate artists doing their thing, especially when it's related to my passion for nice. So when I first saw one of his sires, I think this Anthony Bourdain one was the first sire that I saw passing on my Instagram or Facebook. I was immediately interested and intrigued. I was like, wow, that looks pretty cool. It makes sense. If you are a chef or a foodie and love traveling, then of course you have heard of Anthony Bourdain. Rest in peace, he is one of my heroes as well. Of course, everybody knows about his Kitchen Confidential book. Classic, must read if you are a chef or working in hospitality. But also these really cool graphic novels were written by Anthony Bourdain. It has his signature all over it. The humor, the insights, the commentary on the culinary world. Anthony Bourdain's signature written all over it. I I highly recommend reading these. I pretty much watch all his shows. I just love the way this guy was talking and thinking about being a chef and in general just an amazing guy. And I think this particular design, Anthony Bourdain flipping the finger, if you know Anthony Bourdain then you know that this is a very appropriate way of depicting him on a saya. Right now it's protecting my Kaiko Wayashi, laser of a knife, and as you can see it's not a perfect tight fit or anything Thing, but this will do. And the second design that I chose. Here's Johnny. Stanley Kubrick made so many classic movies. Probably seen them all. The first movie I saw by Stanley Kubrick was A Clockwork Orange. It made a huge impact on me. I think The Shining is one of the most known movies by Stanley Kubrick. It has so many iconic scenes. It's such a great movie. It's nice to have a saya which combines my love for quality movies with my blades. I'm personally really into this kind of stuff. It's really cool to have a saya which reminds me of the brilliance of a director like Stanley Kubrick. This particular saya is protecting my Hado Sumi 210mm Kyuto forged by Yoshikazu Tanaka. And then the third saya was the one that actually immediately made me want to buy it. When I saw this Anthony Bourdain one, I was like, that's really cool, I'm probably gonna buy that one day. But when I saw this one, I was instantly greedy. I was like, I gotta get me one of those. I grew up in the 80s. I was born in 76. I'm a Star Wars baby. Star Wars was definitely one of those movies as a kid that made so much impact on me. That is such an iconic way of responding to somebody saying that she loves you. And it was so in character of Han Solo. And what immediately struck me about this particular saya is that Joseph somehow really managed to make this image really 
pop of the side. It's almost like it's 3D. It's beautifully, beautifully done. It's not that I have my whole house full of Star Wars things because I'm not that type of guy. This is actually the first Star Wars related product or let's say merchandise that I bought in my whole entire life. I think Joseph did a really, really wonderful job with this one. At this moment, it's protecting my Tetsujin Metal Flow 210mm Guto. I'm going to make a review video with this knife pretty soon. So there you have it folks, just a quick look at these really cool Sayas. Personally I'm really happy to support a guy like Joseph starting up this little Saya business. If you like what you see and also have a few blades that need some protection during transport and you're looking for something a little bit more special than a generic universal Saya or just a simple sheet, I would highly recommend to take a look at the website of Joseph, mojostudio.net. If you order one or two or three of his Sayas, it's kind of a win situation. You end up having some really cool sayas yourself and are supporting a startup business from an artist who clearly knows what he's doing. Anyway, have a look at this website. He has some pretty cool designs out there. As always, thank you for watching this video. Hope to catch you in the next one. Bye folks!